SJ Syndicate with Dust. Now, this song just uh, pretty much speaks out that, you know, this guy just loves to kind of rock and roll because that's exactly what this tune was. I mean, the lyrics were really good, had a really good hook, and uh, yeah, it was just kind of plain, simple rock and roll, and he did it. Yeah, absolutely. Had great power and really nice groove. I like the feel of that. Um, excellent guitar playing. Yeah, I, I also like the group a lot, and the vocals were great, and I, I think there was a background vocal in there that was really nice, really well done, and it just had a great sound to it. All right, on, before we get to the next song, uh, just uh, so everybody knows, we are going to give away a few copies of the new Elm Treason CD, and it's called Acoustic Treason. So the rules I posted online a few times, the link is up, and I'll repost it if I need to. And pretty much uh, what, what you're going to do is you're going to tell us why you think you should get the album. So just a quick short uh, sentence, it doesn't have to be long, because obviously you know Twitter doesn't have long uh, characters, uh, but just uh, tweet me and hashtag it Acoustic Treason, and then once we pick the, the few people uh, that we think will be winners, we will DM them, send the, the Skype, and we'll be Skyping them, and they'll have a few questions to answer that are pretty simple, so don't worry, it's nothing hard, but uh, that'll guarantee the new uh, Acoustic uh, uh, well, acoustic Treason, the new Elm Treason album. So... Next up, we're going to get to a band called Crying Steel, and the song is called Heavens of Rock. Dig this. Heavens of Rock, can I help you? <laughs> Screaming! 
Crying Steel, Heavens of Rock, and holy 80s. Wow, that definitely yeah. reminded me of the 80s. And <laughs> here's my quick little connection besides uh, the music itself is the female opera at the beginning reminded me of pretty much it was at the tail end of the of the 80s was 89 I believe is when the Aerosmith album Pump came out and the song Love in the Elevator and you know oh. the ones at the elevator says oh good afternoon Mr. Tower going down yeah. so but yeah there we go but yeah it was a really cool tune though I could really enjoy it yeah that was that had a lot of power great guitar playing and my god that guy can sing yeah, I mean, I actually love this song. I thought it could kick major butt. <laughs> just, but um, yeah, what a, what a set of pipes that guy has! It was just amazing. Yeah, you know, I yeah, I, I really really enjoyed this tune. Yeah. So next up, we're gonna get to a band called uh, Tormentor uh, Bestial, and the song's called "When My Heroes Go Away." Dig this. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right on. That was Tormentor Bestial, and the song was called When My Heroes Go Away. Just before I get to the song, I didn't realize, but the mic had been on for a few minutes. We didn't say anything bad, so not a big deal. But thank you, Alma, for <laughs> giving me a heads up. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, it's, well, it wasn't like anything incriminating. You know? So I Yeah. <laughs> I'm done talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Either way, it was nothing but good things. So, Torm, uh, we were talking about, uh, well, Catherine, you were talking about the vocals on this one. And, uh, you know, I totally agree. It was really good. It wouldn't, and like I was telling you, no one, like I said, said well, I, I first thought off air, but it was on air as well. That was like a, like a, like a, like an 80s rock ballad, but it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I really picked up a definite country twinge to it, which is really unexpected considering the band. Uh, in tune, I liked it. I did too. It was such. It had such a unique feel to it. I mean, it had sort of an acoustic feel to it, uh, even though it was heavier. And I loved the vocals. I just thought, I thought they were wonderful. They were so emotional, and I thought it was a really cool contrast between what was going on in the band. You know, it was just. I loved it. Absolutely. <laughs> So next up, we're going to get to track, uh, let's see, a band called The Love Buzzards, which we've heard before. It's been a number of months, like it was at least three months we've heard them. But the song's called Locomotive Train. Dig this. This is The Love Buzzards. <laughs> 